हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू शेक हैंड विथ लाइफ यूट्यूब चैनल आई एम नरेंद्र शर्मा इन दिस वीडियो वी विल स्टडी द वन टेल टेस्ट फॉर हाइपोथेसिस टेस्टिंग सच एज लेफ्ट टेल टेस्ट और राइट टेल टेस्ट एंड विल अंडरस्टैंड हाउ वन टेल टेस्ट इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम टू टेल टेस्ट फॉर हाइपोथेसिस टेस्टिंग The link of the two tail test for hypothesis testing is given in the i mark above and in the description below. In two tail test video, we have already seen that for testing a hypothesis, we have three different situations. Case one, when null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis are stated as h not such that. mu equal to mu not and h a such that mu is not equal to mu not case 2 when h not stated as mu equal to mu not and h a stated as mu less than mu not and case 3 is when h not stated as mu equal to mu not and h a is stated as mu greater than mu not in case 1 we use two tail test to test the null hypothesis and in my previous video we have studied the two tail test condition in detail for hypothesis testing now let's talk about the left tail test and right tail test conditions stated in the case 2 and case 3 now first we take case 2 here the null and alternative hypothesis are stated as h not mu equal to mu not and h a mu less than mu not here the null hypothesis implies the population mean mu is equal to hypothetical population mean mu not but the alternative hypothesis stated as the population mean mu less than the hypothetical population mean mu not so in this type of situation we use left tail test it implies a left tail test rejects the null hypothesis if the population mean mu lower than the hypothetical population mean mu not significantly in a left tail test the rejection region will be on the left tail of the curve and defined by alpha equal to 0.05 at 5% significance level now the acceptance region where the null hypothesis will be accepted is the area under the normal curve separated by critical limit z equal to minus 1.645 from rejection region on the left tail of the curve at 5% significance level hence the area under the left half of the curve up to the critical limit z equal to minus 1.645 is 0.45 and the area under the right half is 0.50 and both taken together equal to 0.95 or 95% area of the curve now to find the area under the normal curve for z equal to 1.645 you may refer the table area under the standard normal distribution in any book of business statistics here minus 1.645 is the critical value and if the value of test statistic like z test comes out greater than minus 1.645 then the null hypothesis will remain in the acceptance region and if the value of test statistic comes out less than or equal to minus 1.645 at 5% significance level then the null hypothesis will rest in rejection region hence mathematically acceptance region is defined by a such that z greater than minus 1.645 and rejection region is defined by r such that z less than or equal to minus 1.645 now let's take the case 3 here the null and alternative hypothesis are stated as h not 
such that mu equal to mu naught and h a stated as mu greater than mu naught. Here the null hypothesis implies the population mean mu is equal to hypothetical population mean mu naught but the alternative hypothesis stated as the population mean mu higher than the hypothetical population mean mu naught. So in this type of situation we use right tail test. It implies a right tail test rejects the null hypothesis if the population mean mu higher than the hypothetical population mean mu naught significantly. Here the rejection region is on the right tail of the curve and defined by alpha equal to 0.05 at 5% significance level. Now the acceptance region under the normal curve where the null hypothesis will be accepted separated by the critical limit z equal to 1.645 from rejection region on the right tail of the curve at 5% significance level. Now the area under the right half of the curve up to the critical limit z equal to 1.645 is 0.45 and the area under the left half of the curve is 0.50 and both taken together equal to 0.95 or 95% area of the curve. Here 1.645 is the critical value and if the value of test statistic like z test comes out less than or equal to 1.645 then the null hypothesis will remain in the acceptance region and if the value of test statistic comes out greater than 1.645 at 5% significance level then the null hypothesis will rest in rejection region. Hence mathematically acceptance region is defined by a such that z less than or equal to 1.645 and rejection region is defined by r such that z greater than 1.645. Now let's take an example to better understand the one tail test. The mean of a certain production process is known to be 50 with a standard deviation of 2.5. The production manager may welcome any change in mean value towards higher side but would like to safeguard against decreasing values of mean. He takes a sample of 12 items that gives a mean value of 48.5. Then what inference should the manager take for the production process on the basis of the sample results at a significance level of 5%. According to the problem, manager wants the mean value of the production process greater than 50 and he would reject any change in the production process that results in the mean value less than 50. Therefore, the null and alternative hypothesis can be stated as h naught mu equal to 50 and h a mu less than 50. It implies manager doesn't want the mean value less than 50. Here h a is one sided and less than 50. Hence we use left tail test here. It is also given in the problem that sample mean x bar equal to 48.5 hypothetical population mean mu naught equal to 50 population standard deviation sigma p equal to 2.5 and the number of items in the sample n equal to 12. Now let's process the z test by replacing the values of x bar mu naught sigma p and n in z statistic assuming the population to be normal and the z statistic so calculated comes out as minus 2.0784 here the calculated value of z which comes out as minus 2.0784 is less than the critical value of minus 1.645 at 5% significance level. 
under the left tail test condition hence it will lie in the rejection region and therefore null hypothesis is rejected and hence we can conclude that there is a requirement of corrective action in the production process to improve the sample mean significantly greater than 50 so this was the concept of left tail test and right tail test for hypothesis testing if you have any question or suggestions then please do write your feedback in the comment box below hit the like button if you like this video and share it with your friends and colleagues click here to subscribe shake hand with life youtube channel and press the bell to receive notifications of my latest videos click here to visit on shakehandwithlife.in to download the course notes and ebooks in pdf thanks for watching see you soon in my next video with a new topic